Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I am sharing an Easter basket haul. Uh, my kids are right on the other side of this wall, so I want to be kind of low-key about what I'm saying, uh, but I'm going to share with you everything that I got. So uh, let's jump in. Really quickly, everything was from Target. The, the dollar spot really didn't have as much as I would usually get, so there's a couple of things from the dollar spot. A couple of things from the art supply section, a lot of stuff from seasonal and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, the dollar spot this year just wasn't uh, wasn't what it usually is. So, but uh, the first item I got this is for their baskets as well as the hunt. And if I have any like leftover, I'll just throw them on the table for the kids to grab, or maybe just keep them for like lunch, like on the go snacks when we go to Legoland or something. Uh, but these are uh, baked white cheddar puffs. I'm gonna guess these are similar to like the pirate's booty. So I went ahead and grabbed um, a big thing of this and this has 12 bags total. I picked up these two Mondo Llama. These are DIY finger puppet kits. Mondo Llama does a lot of uh, crafts and art supplies and I'm a huge fan of them. Uh, they can be a little bit pricey, but usually at the end of season, they'll go on sale um, pretty cheap actually. Like I've picked up painting sets for like 50 cents, something like that. Uh, so if, you know, if, cause I think these were like five bucks each. So if that's too much more than you want to spend, uh, maybe pick up stuff after Easter's over and then just keep it for the next year. But I thought these were really cute. I picked up these little spinny wheels. I thought these were really cute. Uh, kids are, uh, kids always like, well, look, you can see me, I'm playing with them. Uh, but, uh, just a lot of fun to play with really colorful I think they'll look really pretty in the baskets um and um I don't know maybe afterward we'll put them in our garden or something also in the dollar spot I thought these were so cute look at these this is sidewalk chalk peeps <laughs> these were adorable uh these were a buck each um I wish they only come in three colors the pink the blue and the purple I wish they had green and yellow too just so I could get them to each and them not get like a duplicate color but what are you gonna do they do have their own like regular sidewalk chalk but i thought that would be really cute because they're gonna be outside a lot on easter so okay and then also from the dollar spot i went ahead and got this fidget toy you know it's one of those like expand and contract thingies this one is for g and then for O, I got him this like spinny water toy that he can take into the tub um he still takes baths he's only seven so i thought that was cute and kind of up his alley you know what i mean Okay, and I think I think that's it from the dollar spot, just those few things. And then the next thing I got, I got I got uh, this uh, like pack of giant, you know, the sticky hands that you would play with, you would get from the ice cream man when you were little in the eighties. Uh, if you're that, if you're that old like me. Um, but I got these um, A to put in their baskets, but also for the Easter egg hunt. So I got those. I got two cans of Silly String. Who doesn't love Silly String? Um, these were a little bit pricier than I wanted to spend, but G is getting to the age where like the little, the little toys from the dollar, the dollar spot or even the Dollar Tree, um, a lot of those don't hold his interest anymore. So I'm kind of having to spend a little bit more now. Now that he's getting older, but he's getting, he's also getting to the age where his Easter basket gets shrunk down quite a bit, like some of the older kids too. Kind of a sad thing. Okay. Next I have, um, the, this is just like a little variety pack of stuff that I got not only for their basket, but again for the hunt. It's got stamps and like little googly eyes and what I'm guessing is erasers and stuff. It's just, it just says mini toys, but um, just a bunch of little things in there that I can, uh, that I can include in their basket. Of course, chocolate bunnies. These are kind of a classic staple when it comes to Easter baskets. Uh, this is from Favorite Day, which is Target's brand. They did have like Godiva and, um, Ghirardelli and all that stuff, but, um, I don't even know if they're going to eat them, so. I didn't, I didn't want to spend Godiva prices, so uh, they're getting uh, Target brand. And then let's see, I got them. I got them each their own pack of Cadbury eggs. Um, I 
I'm I have yet to see the commercial with the bunny who little his little mouth moving like that uh, but these are kind of classic uh, Easter basket candies as well and this is the caramel it's not the cream I don't think the boys like the cream very much okay and then you know how they have like the Christmas candy canes filled with M&Ms they're starting to do that for everything now I had in my Valentine's haul not too long ago I had um, some heart top ones but these are bunny ears as you can see and they're the pastel M&Ms just the plain chocolate ones no peanut or anything Reese's eggs delicious and yes I have opened them yummy and I don't know why I did this, it's kind of redundant, but I also got them individual, individual ones. I, I don't know. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. And then I went ahead and got them. These are called Sugar Rush. Oh, it is scented. Scented rainbow pens. Here, and they're like the multicolored ones where you click them. Um, there's three of them, but um, I'm going to keep one to the side because uh, I have a feeling one of these is going to get lost and I'll be able to bust one out in case there's a mom I can't find it anywhere kind of situation so I went ahead and picked those up I thought that was really cute and kind of a little bit more in keeping with like an older kid Easter basket I grabbed just a small amount there's only six in here just a small amount of um, Easter pla the plastic Easter eggs I keep mine every year but every year it kind of dwindles a little bit here and there and it gets lost in a toy box or something so I just picked up a pack kind of just in case the next three items are kind of a bigger items I um I try not to buy too, too I know there's a little bit in here but I try not to buy too too much that's just gonna they're gonna look at it once and throw it to the side um, I'd rather spend a little bit more on something that I know they're gonna play with for a bit so I went ahead and for oh I got him this is how to catch an Easter Bunny uh, this again I got at Target this was um oh it's only sold at Target for whatever reason but I had um there was a circle deal on buying books so I was able to get this kind of relatively cheaply it's normally 11 I think I paid like eight bucks for this so not bad and I'm a firm believer that you can never have too many books and then for uh G he's um definitely in the novels stage <laughs> and I, I just bought him um he started the Percy Jackson series and then he's kind of smack in the middle of the Wings of Fire series so he's got a lot of books on his to be read shelf <laughs> so I went ahead and picked up Mad Libs they had an Easter version in the book section of Target I loved Mad Libs as a kid and he's never played it but we've been working on like adjectives and verbs and stuff like that because um it's part of our we do like a word of a day thing and we're always we have a lot of adjectives in our word of the day book so we're always excited when we get a noun or a verb so I thought this would be kind of fun and kind of um kind of pull that lesson in as well so thought that was cute and then if I can pull this out this is probably the biggest thing well no it is the biggest thing but it's also for them to share and this is the ooze labs chemistry station um this was also circle deal but i think normally this was like i want to say this was like 30 bucks i did not pay full price for this by any means uh, but i try to get them one big thing that they have to share last year it was a board game uh, but, um, I thought it was really cool. I love all these like beakers. They love doing anything like most kids love any kind of liquids where they're mixing and playing with beakers and Bunsen burners and whatnot. So I thought that was really, really cool and they could uh, play with it and have some fun. So that, and then the last thing is just an Easter egg dyeing kit. I thought this was actually really cool. This is from Spritz. And it's um, like a space theme. I thought that was so cool and the eggs look so pretty. I don't know if our eggs will look that good. but And I have plenty from like the Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store. The, um, what is it? The Paws or something like that? I can't remember. You look at it for, I've been looking at those things for the last 40 years and I don't remember what they're called. But I have a bunch of those classic ones. But I thought um, just adding something like that would be really, really cute. And I think this was like... Uh, Oh, this was three bucks. I was going to say five, but it was only three. Uh, but super duper cute. I love the rockets. I love the rings for the planets. 
uh, I love all the bright colors, so I thought they would have a lot of fun with that, and it's something a little bit different than the classic, like, pastel dyed eggs. Uh, but anyhow, guys, that about wraps it up for this haul. I hope you found some cute ideas, maybe a little bit of inspiration. Um, I always have a lot of fun shopping for stuff like this. Um, it's kind of my thing. I go by myself and just see, kind of go see cool stuff and toss it in. When you can see cool stuff and kind of just toss it in your cart, uh, it's a lot of fun and it's always easier when it's not for you or at least it is for me. Anyhow, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care and happy Easter. Bye for now.